Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I'm here with a new tutorial that is how to delete selected row from data grid by using data grid by self click in six bonus palm application. Our task server management studio. My server name is Kerala Hyphen SBR authentication. Task server authentication login as and password just skills authentication password. Access the database. Database name is programming tutorial DB and table name is product info underscore tab. You can see now these are the records in the database table. You can see product item name, design color, and set of data and X5 date. Okay, okay. Now run this project to in C sharp. Yes, this is the previous tutorial. Um, I have shown a complete code operation. Um, and this is the form of code operation. And now in this tutorial, I will show how to delete selected row from data grid view um, uh, in C sharp minus form application. In that case, add new form, new item. Select Windows form and name the Windows form. Form name is data grid cell underscore click t underscore form okay add yes the form is added now just uh, copy the level control you can uh, take this level control from the toolbox or you can see my previous tutorial crude operation link given in the description box below change the back color of this form yes now this is looking nice and uh, text is the title text is delete selected row using cell underscore click c sharp okay now go to the toolbox and uh, expand the whole windows form add a data grid view control just a drag and drop it in the windows form application resize this data grid view okay now add a button control uh, I just take the button control from the previous form so that uh, it will be it will be designed already resize this form and change the text of the button this button control I will use to load data from SQL Server database to data grid view control text to load data font size 12 and okay now double click to go to the button click event yes sql connection i'm gonna write code to load data from uh, sql server database table to data grid view first of all i'm gonna connect with the sql server database so sql connection con equal to new sql connection add namespace system to data to sql client to, uh, to use sql connection okay the uh, namespace is added now uh, add connection string to get the connection string go to the server explorer and first of all you should connect I right click add connection server name is catalog hyphen sbr and authentication is sql server authentication username s and password is your sql server authentication password and uh, database is programming tutorial db okay it's connected with your visual studio project now right click on the database and click on property double click to select the connection string copy and paste it in the sql correction double quotation you can see id is sa okay it's fine but password is just so put your original password now sql command okay okay con that open now sql command uh, c equal to new sql command records load data in the data grid view only it's not execute insert update delete operation okay now select the star from product info underscore tab this is table name product info underscore tab okay now sql data adapter sql data adapter d equal to new sql data adapter see data table 
dt equal to new data table finally d dot fill dd okay my data grid view name is data grid view one so data grid view one dot data source equal to dt Uh, name the form name in the program dot cs file so that it will debug with the starting phase data grid by cell and so click t form okay start yes load data yes all the records displaying in the grid view now i'm going to insert uh, more records uh, product is 106 i have a mobile design up for color black and insert date and update date text for it okay 107 ram and uh, 107 item name ram design nail color green and date insert and expire it okay now start load this load data yes the records I inserted uh, all the records displaying the is in the grid view okay now go to the form click on grid view event double click to the cell click event yes now I'm just declaring a variable integer type integer product ID equal to data grid view one dot rows e dot row index I mean selected row and uh, dot cell e dot Oh no, the, this is for column name. Column name is product ID. Dot value dot to string. Oh, this is uh, integer, uh, data type is integer, so you should convert it to integer. Okay, now it's okay. SQL connection. Uh, SQL connection if I use this connection on a string con now out of the event out of the button click event I can use this con in all the event uh, in, the, uh, in button click event and self event in all of whole page okay so now just con that open SQL command C equal to new SQL command delete product info tab higher uh, the entity is a higher product id equal to uh, this is the syntax for the syntax carefully product id yes this is the variable and then share the connection string con now just to put c dot mysql command is c c dot execute non query after completing the operation it will display a message in message box so message box dot show uh, for your message message successfully deleted okay now debug load data select a record yes it's deleted or oh, no Additionally, the connection was not closed so in the first button click event I have opened the connection but it's uh, displaying the result connection is current status open so close the open connection yes in the button click event i already opened the connection but it's not closed yet so uh, just add code con dot close okay debug load data successfully deleted but it's not refreshed the data grid view to get result instantly add a method uh, okay void load data just uh, move this code from button click event to method and then just call this uh, method in the button click event yes now it's done now call this method in button click event and data grid view cell click event as well okay now start load data select successfully deleted and refresh the data grid view instantly 
so let's check the SQL server yes yes it's deleted from here also now insert one more records 106 uh, rom nail and color is white load data yes the records is displaying in the data git view so now uh, delete is confidential so if you delete uh, records you cannot uh, back this record again so now i'm gonna add confirm masses to add confirm masses uh, uh, in the beginning of code add if message box dot show are you sure to delete this is your masses and delete is the delete da message document name and message box button dot yes no equal to delete result dot yes if yes i mean if you click on the confirm message yes then it will execute if you click no it will execute nothing okay yeah the letter is sure to delete no it's not deleted are you sure to delete no it's not deleted if you click yes it will be deleted successfully yes it's deleted successfully okay thanks for watching this tutorial